Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our health planners for the next week in August. And I've got these stat stickers here I made with my foam memo printer ready to go, as well as this washi tape I may use, this wellness sticker roll of habit trackers, and these sticker books which I'll pull from. So this is the first week of the August Planable Challenge and this week's theme is Wild Summer. So if you'd like to participate, go ahead and post your spreads up on Instagram using the hashtag PlanableAugust2021. We'd love to see what you come up with. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started by laying down some wax paper here. And just kind of setting up the pages that I think I'm going to use. Kind of went through some of my books and figured I would do sort of like a tropical theme but also, I don't know, a little bit wild styled, <laughs> if you will. So we'll see how this all turns out. I'm gonna go ahead and get started by laying in some long boxes here. Decided I was going to kind of do a long area for my fitness stickers and then put the decor around that area. That way I'd have a secure space to put in what I need to track but also have plenty of room for decor. So I have these two boxes. What I'm going to end up doing is actually trimming one, the one there on the left, and then kind of adding to the one on the right so it looks like a continuous box. But for now, we're just gonna leave that as is while I set up the sticker layout. And I've laid in a few animals. Some came from the Happy Illustration sticker book. I think actually all of those did. There are some animal stickers, some flamingos and things in some of the other books I pulled here as you can see. I think this one is the teacher, maybe teacher, maybe just happy year, not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, this one has some in the animal, yeah that one was a teacher one. And then this one is just the ha uh, happy illustrations. And this one that I'm showing now is the happy year. Yes. <laughs> Getting them all confused. They kind of look the same. But all of those will be in the description below. So you can go ahead and check those out if you are missing a book or two. I'll have links to them so you can kind of get a better look. So the reason I pulled all these books is because I have some of these kind of foliage, tropical palm frond looking things um, in all these different books, but not a ton of it. So I had to kind of get eclectic and add everything that I had from all these different books to kind of fill in the full spread. I'm also trying to limit the color scheme a bit here, sticking mostly with these like soft greens, and pinks and then I have a little bit of pop of yellow there with the cheetah and the sun I laid down but for the most part it's gonna be kind of pinks and greens. Uh, I just put some sunglasses on the cheetah I'm in love with that. <laughs> They're cat eye glasses so cute. <laughs> That's gonna be a little moment on my spread it's gonna bring me joy. I was thinking for my food log that I would do some like cheetah print or some kind of print. I did try the stickers from the wild style but I didn't really like that so much. I did pull that washi that kind of has a organic maybe almost animal print like look to it but not a hundred percent. So I don't really like it on its own. I'm gonna try to add in more of the pink and the green and see if I can make that work. The only green I have in washi is this giant sticker roll. And so I'm just gonna trim it out and see if I like that and go from there. And then I'll do the same thing here with the pink washi and maybe layer that one as well and see if that works. And I really actually love that combination. So that I think I've settled on and am going to put in some habit trackers Wish I didn't have to use the purple, but I don't have any other habit trackers left. I only have purple, 
and pink and the green and those are the only two pink and green ones I had so had to add in that purple there because I do track three habits each week. And so here I have my Choose Happy sticker book, which is a super old book, but it does have a few palm fronds, or not palm fronds, somebody told me what these were called, and I've already forgot. <laughs> but anyway, they're like tropical leaf plants. We're just going to call it tropical leaves because I totally am blanking on the name of that plant. But there's only a handful of them, so I'm just going to add them in here, get them used up, you know, uh, try to use all the stickers. That's my goal lately. Try not to buy so much as trying to use up what is in my stash. So again, just pulling things out and using it up. I actually have this sticker set of, I don't know, random stickers that I got at a Target dollar spot over a year ago and don't really gravitate to these very often, but loved the pink and these kind of like, I don't know, leafy branch things. I thought would tie in well with this pink and green centric theme. So I went ahead and pulled out these sticker sheets out of my little sticker book and am laying those guys in. Just add a little pop of pink throughout the tropical leaves. Most of these are actually a little bit more on the coral side than the pink side, but I think they blend in well enough. It's kind of the same thing with the box that I'm using for the middle section. It's a little bit more blue than the greens that are around it, but I think just the subtle variation of color tends to work on this spread because there is so many light and dark greens and then the pinks as well. There's, you know, bold pinks and then softer pinks. So I think it works. I also had laid in a quote from the Wild Style sticker book. That's the only sticker I used from there but that stay wild in the sidebar that came from that sticker book. But again, that's the only one. And the reason I added that in was for a little bit more pop of black, because there is a little bit of black on the toucan and then in the cheetah, and then also on that patterned washi. So I just wanted to kind of spread a little bit of the black around as well. I'm preparing washi tapes now for cutting them down and putting them into the food log and stats area. Each one of these is gonna be cut off and then probably cut in half. I'm gonna to try to save these bigger strips with the florals for use in another area. So I'm definitely going long so that I can get the most out of this washi. I'm gonna cut up the other ones here just in half and then again in fourths so that should be enough to fill in the spread. I decided I wanted the color to go all the way down into the stats area, so I made these a little bit longer. And that looks great, and then we're going to go ahead and do the same with the pink, kind of alternating the colors. So I've got those in. And then I'm going to have the animal print just go into the bottom of the food log. That one was a little short. And then the rest of it will be the stat stickers. So it'll kind of look like a continuous variation of black as you go down. Now those stat stickers are part of a set of templates that I provide for free in the video where I talk about the foam memo printer. So if you're interested in those, downloading those for yourself so you can print them on your own home printer or foam memo printer if you have one similar, do check the description below. I'll have a link to the video. Just check that video description out for the direct link to the templates. And I have also links for many of the items here that you've seen me use on the spread. So looking for something, just check the description. So I did a little sample there with the stat stickers and I really like how that looks and thought I might play a little bit here with these washi tapes and the animal print styled washi here in the sidebar just to kind of complete that area where I'll write in some goals for the week. But I think that should be enough to really complete this spread. I'm really loving this pink and green tone. I think this is really coming together nicely. So seeing if there's anything else 
want to add in here, but I think we're good to go. I did have a few more leaves that I thought I might bring in here just to finish filling out the top half. I did have a few other leaves here from the Color Story sticker book that I thought I might bring in to fill out the top half here, but I feel like that green it has a different quality to it and doesn't quite fit in with the rest of them. It's a little too bold. Laid it in, but then I, I changed my mind. I just I saw it and I was like, I liked the softness that I had there before I added those in. So I just pulled back a little bit on that and am gonna stick with what I have there. Oh, and I'm also looking for something there for my rest day that I might use just to fill that space. But I'm just not 100% sure what I want it to be at this point. Looking in the Wild Style sticker book right now, seeing if there's anything else. I did like the pink and the black here on this um, quote sticker, but I'm not ready to commit it yet to the page. So we'll just put it to the side and see if I want to add that in in the end. Okay, I think we're ready to go. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started by laying in the washi tape to start. And just trying to make sure everything's straight and even. Like I said, I'm going to have those stat stickers kind of start right there in the activity section. So I'm going to do a lot of trimming here of the washi just as I lay it down. That way I can make sure that the washi is exactly the right size. I did cut it a little bit long just so that I could easily fit it in and make adjustments if need be. And this takes a little bit of time to do. Just bear with me. It's a lot of cutting and making sure everything is just the right size. But I really, I don't know, I think this gives me a little bit of like a soft Miami vibe to it with the flamingos and the tropical feels, but not like a neon Miami, kind of more softer tones. So I really like that. I'm feeling this design. And I got the first side laid in. Just going to continue on with this next side here. And I think what I'll do is I'll just do it all at once. So I'll have everything kind of overlap to the top instead of near the center. So I can just trim it all off at once. That should be a more efficient way to do this. Sometimes I get smarter as I go. <laughs> and I'm just going to lay in this last one. Okay. And just making some adjustments before I trim them. Let's go through and trim them with my precision cutter and my Erin Condren clear ruler. I get some questions about this ruler sometimes. It's from Erin Condren, but I cut off the teeth. It used to have teeth to go into the coil of an Erin Condren planner. I just trimmed it off since I only had one Erin Condren planner in my life, but I really like this clear ruler, so that's where it came from. They still carry the Erin Condren rulers, if that's what you're looking for, just know that. Okay, so I've gotten all the washi tape in and now we gotta figure out how we're gonna do this, move this guy over because I have these boxes that I need to trim, but I also have all these leaves that are in the back that I need to have overlapped and I need to make sure that everything is aligned properly. So just trying to figure out where to even begin here. I also wanted that toucan to be on top, so that was another little tricky thing. I had to figure out what I wanted to do there. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up as much as I can on this guy and then trim off the end of the colored area there of the border so that I can make that continuous feel happen. And I'm also going to white out a few of these lines. I will use the lines to kind of guide the placement of the box and we'll make sure that they're covered for the most part. But I did want the areas where the cheetah is going to overlap there to be invisible so that the cheetah looked like it was nice and clean in the background. I also pulled it up so that it's now on top of the box, but I need to figure out a way to white out the colored area of the border there behind the cheetah so it doesn't show up. I started out with my Sakura white opaque pen, um, but it just wasn't really strong enough at that point. So I went to my dry line, staples, correction tape, and used that instead. Use the white pen for behind where I'm going to put the toucan. And while that dries and I figure out the rest here, let's go ahead and lay in the second side. That way I can trim it out exactly where I need it and then use that extra portion to complete the other side of the box. And since I don't want that to stick down, I'm going to put some wax paper right behind it there on the line and then trim it out. That way it kind of saves me from having to pull it up off the page. And now, I don't remember how I'm going to do this. I do need to have these leaves in the background before I lay it down. So let's just figure this out real quick. I think that will work. Just need to make sure everything's nice and aligned. I'm going to push it in a little bit and trim it off. There we go. Also trim off the extra foliage that seeps into the spine area to keep things clean. Now I'm going to move over the flamingo. I am also going to lay this guy on top of the box. So I'm going to do some more whiting out. So I'm just going to use my pen. It's such an odd little angle. I did a pretty good job, except for right here at the head. I felt like I didn't give it enough time to dry. So it did bleed through a little bit. But good enough. <laughs> and I do like to reuse elements, so I'm just going to lay those in where I see there's a space for it and move over the sidebar habit trackers now. I'm going to rearrange them a little bit so the purple's less dominant. And then put in the quote in the little sun since it is wild summer. I wanted to have a sun in there so you knew it was summertime. Moving over the washi tapes and once I get those in you guys, we will be done friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye!